What's up guys, I'm Will with thewillgrant.com and in this video we're going to be going over exactly how to do the Wim Hof method. It was about a year and a half ago when I first heard about the Wim Hof method and I started trying to do a bunch of research and watching a bunch of videos on exactly how to do it and it was actually pretty confusing until I started actually doing it. Um, it's like Wim Hof says, feeling is understanding. So the more you actually just do it and try to do it, the more you'll understand exactly how to do it but in this video I'm gonna do my absolute best in creating the video that I wish I found a year and a half ago when I was first trying to figure out what was I doing so the first question that I probably get asked the most is when is the best time to do this method and you can do this method really any time of the day just make sure you're not driving or in water you do want to be laying down or sitting down in a comfortable position but they say the best time to do the method is in the morning on an empty stomach. So that's why I try to start every single day with about three to five rounds of this method. And also another good time is before a workout, before a big game, before an event, before a big meeting, before anything that you really want to be performing at your absolute best. But like I said, you can do this literally any time of the day. If it's at the end of the day, you're laying in bed, you feel like you need a couple rounds, that's also a great time too. So there is a proper way to breathe. But when I first began this method, I had no idea idea how to breathe and I was completely unaware and unconscious of the way I was breathing and frankly I was breathing completely wrong. That's why in this method it's so important to know that feeling is understanding because it took time of me just practicing and um, breathing in as deep as I possibly can to understand the correct way of breathing which is starting from the stomach and then your chest and then head. So you want the flow of your breath to start from as low as you can in your pelvis, work your way all the way up to your chest and then through your head and then out. It takes a while to be able to even separate your breathing from your stomach to your chest. Like at first, like I said, I was completely breathing wrong and I was a complete chest breather. So all I knew how to do was breathe straight from my chest. And it took um, days and days and practice and practice of doing this method to really learn how to expand my diaphragm and to really be breathing all through my stomach. And then as you learn to do that, then you can expand it through your chest all the way up and let it out. When I first began learning how to breathe and doing the Wim Hof method, the exhale is what really confused me because I wasn't sure do I just let it fall out, do I blow it all the way out, or exactly how or what is the correct way to do this. And the correct way is you're taking in as much oxygen as you possibly can to really over oxygenate everything and then just letting that breath fall but before it falls all the way out you take in another breath fully in and take in again as much oxygen as you possibly can and letting it fall so you're taking that full breath in as much as you possibly can before you even exhale all the way and after a few breaths, anywhere between 7 to 15, your whole body will really start tingling and uh, sometimes your body actually gets a lot warmer as well because the muscles in your back actually regulate your body temperature. So when you start expanding your whole diaphragm, not just your stomach, your muscles in the back really um, start generating a lot of heat as well. So you'll feel your body getting warm, you'll feel your body start to tingling and maybe even a little bit of lightheadedness. And that's okay, that's completely normal. That usually means that you're doing it right. That's why it's so important to be laying down or sitting down. So you can really just focus on that feeling, block everything out and dive your complete presence and attention into those feelings and keep taking in as much oxygen as you possibly can. The actual routine of the method starts off with 30 to 50 deep inhales as deep as you possibly can where you're taking in as much oxygen as possible. And then after 30 to 50 of those deep inhales, you let all of your air out of your lungs and you hold still and just hold your breath for as long as you can. And you try to focus on not thinking but just feeling and witnessing. Your body will be tingling and you just want to dive into those uh, feelings and your body speaking to you in your body's language. You will be able to hold your breath longer than you probably ever have in your life because you did just over oxygenate all of 
your cells in your whole body and you depleted your whole body of that carbon dioxide. So the goal is to just sit there, witness, feel, and check into all of your senses, turn your mind off, and just listen and feel. After you can't hold your breath for any longer, that's when you take that big gulp in and you actually wanna hold it, hold it, and pause and squeeze for about 10 to 15 seconds and then let it all go. And that's when you can begin your second round. Especially after a few rounds of this, you will get some sort of a body and head high that honestly feels amazing. It's uh, very close to like a euphoric ecstasy feeling and all of your senses feel activated. I feel like I see clear, my mind works better. Um, just everything feels really good. <laughs> What I normally do is I normally do about three to five consecutive rounds every single morning. Um, and I could do that just with nothing or sometimes I actually use a 15 minute three round guided meditation that's on YouTube and I'll leave that link in the description below. It's really good. Uh, but if I don't have that, I'll just do it normally just counting my breaths and um, doing my rounds like that. There is another quick way to do a Wim Hof method that I really like doing this way, really into my warm up routine or before a workout or before an event or before um, a race. And that is just where you do one round of 30 to 50 deep breaths in as you possibly can. And then when you let it all out and hold, instead of just sitting there, you actually do as many push-ups as you possibly can. And I know this sounds crazy at first, but you really get a huge jolt of that energy and focus and everything that you want from the Wim Hof method. And it really activates all of your muscles and it's one of the best things to do for a warm up. And you'll actually be able to do, again, more push ups like this than you can just right now sitting normally. So like I said before, the correct way to breathe is actually starting from deep into your stomach and letting it fill up your stomach, then your chest, then head, and then out. But when I first began doing this method, I was completely unaware and unconscious of even how to breathe or how I was breathing. Um, and I was actually just breathing straight through my chest. So that came from actually just doing it. Remember, feeling is understanding. So you have to just jump into this method and just begin breathing. And the more you breathe, the more control you'll gain of your breathing and the more you'll be able to um, breathe properly. So I started off starting with your stomach And when you get about 30 to 50 deep breaths, that's when you want to let all of the air out of your lungs and just hold and sit still and listen and witness. Yeah, I really encourage you guys to just get down on the ground, try this breathing, invite some friends to do it as well. Like I said, I've been doing this breathing and practicing and learning my breath pretty much every day for the past year and a half. And I'm still learning things all the time of how to uh, breathe even better and connect a little deeper to my breath. Um, so don't get discouraged at first if you're just confused and not getting it. Just do it and just breathe. And the more you do it, the more you'll understand. Um, I really hope this video helped in some way. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just leave those in the comment box below. And like I said, I'm still learning every day. So 
if you've been doing this for a long time and you have some tips or tricks that'll even help me and mine, please leave those in the comments below because uh, we're all here just trying to learn, get better, and grow. Um, and I also have new updates on my website as well, so check that out at www.thewillgrant.com. Another good practice to just learning how to breathe properly and breathing uh, through your diaphragm is put one hand on your stomach and one hand on your chest and just slow and controlled focus on breathing and raising the hand on your stomach without raising the hand on your chest. Then after you get the hang of that, you can begin learning how to start with your stomach and then fill your chest. The more time that you just lay down or sit and spend time breathing and feeling and getting to know your breath, the more you will understand and know how to do it. And this will translate to every single area of your life because the way you breathe is really a mirror of the way you do everything. If you're not connected and not aware of your breath, a lot of the times we are just um, going through the motions of our day. But we can regulate and um, readjust everything from our mood to our energy just from uh, changing our different breathing patterns. So like I said, the more you understand how to breathe, the more you understand the physiology of your own body and able to control your happiness, your health, and even your own uh, strength.